Hello, my name's Kunal. I'm a pharmacist here at Nottingham University Hospital's NHS Trust. NUH is one of the single largest NHS trusts in the UK. And as a result, we admit and discharge a considerable number of patients on a daily basis. And thus, our processes for medications related to discharge have to be as safe and as efficient as possible to keep you out of harm's way. This video aims to show you the different steps in that process from being declared medically fit by your senior medical team all the way through to the medications getting into your hand and you're ready to go home. Thank you. Whilst you're an inpatient and once investigations and treatments are in place, you'll ultimately be declared medically fit by the senior clinician in your medical team. At this point, discharge planning begins to safeguard you in your transition back home. This includes assessing your mobility, social circumstances, and importantly, reviewing any changes or additions to your medications prior to your hospital stay. In some individuals, this process can be relatively quick. However, in cases of discharge back to social care packages, new accommodation, or where adjustments are needed to your living situation, this process may take longer. Remember to take this opportunity to ask any questions you might have in relation to new medicines or general queries about any special precautions when you go home. A prescriber will review the notes throughout your inpatient stay and write a summary of all your treatments and investigations along with any recommendations to your GP. The prescriber will then write an electronic prescription for your medications on discharge. If you've been an inpatient for greater than 24 or 48 hours, depending on the ward you're on, the prescriber will list all of your regular medications in addition to any new medications on this electronic prescription to ensure crystal clarity to your GP. Once written, a pharmacist will review the electronic prescription for accuracy and any pharmaceutical issues. This includes checking your new medications for interactions with any other medicines, ensuring dosage and frequency are safe, and ensuring, in general, the medication is suitable for you. Pharmacists will routinely liaise with other healthcare providers such as carers, nursing homes or community pharmacies to ensure a smooth transfer of care. If needed, the pharmacist will contact the prescriber to clarify any problems or optimizations to the medicines regime and the electronic prescription may be updated or amended to reflect the additions. A pharmacist or pharmacy technician will then explain all changes and additions to your medications to you and give you an opportunity to ask any questions you may have. The pharmacist will then confirm you have sufficient supplies to take away from hospital. This may involve confirming if you have more medications at home or to organise a supply to be dispensed in the hospital. The pharmacist will explain the purpose of any new medications along with providing information how to take the medicines and any side effects to watch out for. If you do require medicines on discharge, your prescription is then electronically sent to one of the dispensaries in the hospital, where a pharmacy technician will oversee the assembly and preparation of your medicines and check for accuracy prior to releasing the prescription back to the ward. Queen's Medical Centre has four small dispensaries close to your ward areas, which will process your medicines. At City Hospital, one central large dispensary serves this purpose. The items, once completed and checked, are delivered directly to the ward area you're staying on. For faster transport, several of our dispensaries have dedicated messenger and runner services to ensure medicines are delivered as soon as possible. A nurse will then print up a copy of the summary of your inpatient stay and electronic prescription list and double check all the items received are correct and have all arrived. This step is vital as part of your medicines may already be on the ward or at home in addition to the items brought from the dispensary. This avoids you accidentally being sent home with only part of your medicines. The nurse will then go through each medication with you, once again highlighting each item as they appear on the TTO paperwork, and once again give you an opportunity to ask any questions. We appreciate you may have question after you're discharged home from hospital. Patients are always discharged home with the details of our medicines helpline, a dedicated specialist medicines information service which you can contact after discharge for any concerns or queries relating to your medicines. 
If you are still an inpatient and are requiring further information, you can ask any further questions to your ward pharmacist. An important way you can support hospital staff in making your discharge as efficient and as safe as possible is to ensure if you take regular medicines at home, to bring these medicines in with you for any inpatient stay. We appreciate that for emergency admissions, you may not have the opportunity to do this. However, if friends or relatives can bring these medications in, this is an important step for safety, as staff are able to quickly identify medicines you're taking, as well as ensuring your medicines are available to take when you need them. This helps prevent wasted medicines in hospital and may speed up the discharge processes even more, as staff can identify that you have enough supplies to go home with without having to make these supplies from our dispensaries. If you bring medicines in to your hospital stay, your medicines will be stored securely in hospital as your own property. And to ensure they travel with you inside the hospital and aren't lost or forgotten, these are transported in a green bag, which allows staff to clearly identify these medications are your property and will travel with you wherever you go in the hospital. As you can see, there's a variety of steps involved in getting medications ready for you for discharge. It involves a variety of different healthcare professionals. Each of these steps is vitally important in keeping you safe and keeping you informed about your medications prior to discharge.